American engineers have spent years learning how to decontaminate nuclear sites. They've cleaned up nuclear test sites and helped decommission reactors. Now they're teaching their Japanese counterparts how to tackle the problems at Fukushima. NHK World's Miho Fukunaga has their story. Workers have an extensive to-do list in Fukushima. They have to decommission the crippled reactors and decontaminate the area. Japanese government officials say it will take up to 40 years to complete the work. Japanese officials have asked the United States for help in tackling these nuclear issues. They hope technology and skills from the world's largest nuclear power can improve the situation. Environment ministry officials sought out over 30 U.S. companies that specialize in nuclear decontamination. They invited the firm's executives to Tokyo to meet with their Japanese counterparts. Several of the companies refined their techniques working on one of the U.S. largest ever nuclear cleanups. The Hanford site in the state of Washington was once the country's center of plutonium production. It provided the fuel for the nuclear bomb dropped on Nagasaki in 1945. The U.S. government decommissioned nine reactors at the end of the Cold War, but they left radioactive waste that contaminated soil and water. Decontamination work began in the 1980s, but officials at the Department of Energy say they need another four decades to finish the cleanup. Colorado-based CH2M Hill is one of the companies working at the Hanford site. Vice President Kurt Keeler came to Tokyo to share his experience with Japanese executives. He showed images of the site and discussed the lessons his team learned. When people come and look at the work that's been done there, they say, well, this isn't like uh, Fukushima, it's not the same. Well, that's true, but when you get down to looking at how cesium acts with soil or cesium on a piece of concrete or on a roof, it acts the same in the United States as it does in Japan. And so the lessons we've learned over the 20 years of doing the work are directly applicable. More than 80,000 people still live away from their Fukushima hometowns. They cannot return until the radiation readings drop. Decontamination workers have been using high-pressure hoses and removing topsoil. But they are looking for more efficient methods. I want to know if there's something I can do for decontamination, other than just spraying water. Um, it was often easier to uh, remove the soil or the sidewalk um, or the tile roof, say, of the structure, instead of trying to decontaminate it and put a new one in place. Mm -hmm. Now that means you have a lot of waste mm -hmm. to deal with, right. um, but um, we are, years ago we came to the realization that it was cheaper to find a way to deal with the waste mm -hmm. than to spend all our time trying to decontaminate. Mm -hmm. The U.S. executives also traveled to Fukushima to build a work there. Countries on both sides of the Pacific are facing decades of decontamination work. Exchanging knowledge may help to speed up the process. Miho Fukunaga, NHK World, Tokyo.